ABF Creative. ABF Creative. Jambo, hi. Habari Ghani. What's the news? It's Kwanzaa time with Auntie Odie in the United States. Kwanzaa means first fruits. It is an African-American celebration of our history and culture. Kwanzaa was created in 1966 by Dr. Malana Karenga. During Kwanzaa, December 26 to January 1st, we speak words from the African language of Swahili to celebrate the Nunguzu Saba, seven principles for each day of Kwanzaa. These principles, they guide us as we strive to live in peace, respect, and harmony in our homes and communities. The first day of Kwanzaa is here. It is Umoja, unity. So come with Auntie Oni on a story adventure as we visit the house of Umoja. Are you ready? Let's get on the plane. It's going to be a quick ride. One day, Mr. Anthropologist, that's a big word for a scientist who studies people, he took a long trip in an airplane from North America to England to Southeast Africa to the country of Zimbabwe. He rented a car at the airport, put in his GPS, and drove to visit a school in the city of Bolaweo. He drove past big buildings, skyscrapers, and he drove by beautiful homes, and he saw beautiful people. And he drove past a huge park where he saw lions, elephants, giraffes, and zebras. Mr. Anthropologist continued on his journey, but then he stopped. He stopped at an outdoor fruit market and bought a big basket of mangoes. When he reached the city of Bolaweo, he went to the nearest elementary school. Mr. Anthropologist knocked on the door of the school's principal's office, and he introduced himself. Good day. I am Mr. Anthropologist. I have come all the way from America to study the ways of your people. Would it be possible if I could conduct an experiment in the form of a game with your students? Miss Chukumboro thought for a moment. He was a stranger. Very well. The children will be coming outside for recess. At that time, you may play your game with my students. Well, thank you, miss. Mr. Anthropologist ran to his car and popped the trunk, and he lifted out the basket filled with mangoes. He saw a huge baobab tree beyond the schoolyard. He carried the basket and carefully placed it underneath the shade of the big tree. Just as he walked back to the schoolyard, the recess bell rang out. The children came running out to meet him. We are ready to play your game. We are ready to play your game. Great. Children, please line up both sides of me. He pointed to the basket of mangoes. Does everyone see the basket of fruit way over there under the big tree? Oh, yes. Yes, mister, we see it. We are going to have a race, and whoever reaches the basket first can have all the mangoes and the basket. The children were yelling and jumping up and down. They were so excited. They formed a line on each side of Mr. Anthropologist. He shouted out, Get ready, get set. The children grabbed each other by the hands and took off running and running and running till they were out of breath. Everyone reached the basket at the very same time. Umoja, the oldest girl, her name means unity. She took out a mango and passed it on to her friends. And then they passed it on another mango to another friend until everyone had a mango. Can you believe it was just enough mangoes for every single child? The children sat down on the soft grass in a circle under the shade of the tree giggling as they held on to their mangoes. Mm, mm, They smelt them. They were so sweet. Mm, They bit into the mango. Oh, it was so juicy and delicious. 
The children were so happy for the treat, smiling and laughing together. Mr. Anthropologist could not believe his eyes. He was surprised and upset. He ran to the circle of children. Why did you all run together? And why is everyone eating all the mangoes? Didn't I tell you only the first one to reach the mango could have all the mangoes? The children were very surprised, too, because they had all reached the basket at the same time. Umoja, she stood up and looked Mr. Anthropologist in his eyes. Excuse me, sir. But how can only one of us be happy if the rest of us would be so sad? It is Ubuntu. It is our way. So you see, children, Ubuntu, it's a Zulu word which means I am because we are. And we are because I am. I'm not okay if you're not okay. Ubuntu is what it means to see our humanity and other humans because people need people. So let us always share, care, and show love to one another as we live together in the unity of Ubuntu. Thanks for listening to Kwanzaa Time with Auntie Oni. Act like you heard and spread the word. Subscribe and review wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts because you don't want to miss the next Kwanzaa time. We have a new story on the second principle of Kwanzaa, Kuji Chagalia, self-determination. Because we're looking good and feeling fine. We want to do Kwanzaa all the time. Kwanzaa time with Auntie Oni Lasana is produced by ABF Creative. To learn more about the show, go to ABFC dot co slash Kwanzaa. Peace and love.